Well, hello there, everyone. It is Saturday, April the 2nd, year 2022. And I'm going to explain to you in a few minutes why retirement accounts are detrimental to financial independence, early retirement, etc. Okay, with that being said, make sure you stick around. Maskey Finance is a channel that I do. I'm not a CPA, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not an attorney. Everything I say is just my opinion and you can take it as entertainment, okay? I'm not giving you advice. I'm sharing stories and thoughts and opinions of my own. All right, retirement accounts. What do I mean by retirement accounts? Roth IRAs, traditional IRAs, 401ks, 457 plans, 403bs, TSP if you're in the military, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a couple other plans as well. All right, why do I say retirement plans are detrimental to early retirement? The reason being is, if you have a retirement plan for the majority of people, remember only 2% of Americans are real estate investors. That means 98% of Americans are not, okay? So if you're in the 2% that are real estate investors, retirement accounts are detrimental to early retirement. If you're the 98% others, Keep your retirement accounts because you will literally work until the day you die. Yeah, you are one of the lucky ones. If I live to be a 100 and you're 25 right now, I will see some of you being a greeter in Walmart. I will see some of you being gray haired, stooping over being a waiter or a waitress and so on and so on. And I'm going to laugh at you because you did not follow my channel. Okay. All right. So anyway, why are they detrimental? Here's why. They put you in a mindset that you have to keep putting money into your accounts and wait until you are 59 and a half years old to start retiring. If you withdraw your money prior to 59 and a half, you may have to pay a 10% penalty. You may have to pay taxes. So the majority of Americans, let's say 98% of them, diligently, if they save anything at all, put their money in their 401k, put their money into this account, put their money into this account, waiting for that day they turn 59 and a half. But guess what? Not everyone makes it to 59 and a half. I've lived a long time. I still have five years to go, okay? So if you're younger and you are a real estate investor, do you really want to max out your IRA account every year? Do you want to put money into your 401k? Do you want to put money into your TSP or your 457 plan? Why not put it into buying more assets? Assets that will give you cash flow today. And if they give you cash flow today, as it adds up and accumulates, maybe you're 30 years old, 35 years old, 40 years old, and you come to the conclusion that you don't want to work any longer. You want to live off your investments. You can do that. But if you have $500,000 in your retirement accounts, it makes it harder because you don't want to pay that 10% penalty. You don't want to pay taxes. So you keep plugging away working and working and working. And there's nothing wrong with working. When you're financially independent, you can work any job you want. I just took a job yesterday and I'm lean, lean financially independent. My expectations are I'll be fat financially independent, but I still took a job. I'll explain it in a different video. So do you understand why retirement accounts are detrimental to early retirement? If you want to become financially independent, retire early at a younger age than 59 and a half, I dare say, in my opinion, do not put one penny into an investment account. With an exception being perhaps, if you have a 401k and they have a match at your employer, 3%, 5% or something, put the match in because then you double your money. And then use that 401k to take a loan out to Put a, uh, to buy a rental property and then pay yourself back and pay yourself interest, okay? I'll explain how to do that in a different video. I've already explained it in another video, okay? All right, so are you with me? Do you understand? Do you understand why Maskey, if you're a younger person, if you're 30, if you're 25, if you're 40, if you're 50, maybe Maskey would recommend thinking twice about putting money into your retirement account. Even in Maskey's situation, he has five years to go. We have, both of us, have Roth IRAs. And in our Roth IRAs, we have rental houses and we have mineral rights acreage. And I'm starting to look at this and it's like, huh, every month I'm getting rent coming in. I'm, getting, I'm starting to get mineral rights royalties coming in. It sure would be nice to have that money now. It sure would be nice. But at the same time, in five years, all of a sudden I would get a pay raise. That would be nice too. But why shouldn't I get the pay raise right now? I'm thinking about it. 
I'm thinking about it. All right, because with a Roth IRA, you can make, uh, you can withdraw your contributions. But the problem is for me, the majority of the value of my Roth is gains. I put very little money into my accounts, very little money. I turned a very little bit of money into a larger amount of money through intelligent stock investing and then turning it into a house and mineral rights acreage, okay? So in my case, I would only be able to withdraw just a little bit tax-free and the rest of it, I'd get a 10% penalty and I don't know if, I may or may not have to pay tax. I probably would because it's all gains, capital gains. Okay, so my thoughts are, and I have kids and I might tell them this and I don't know if they'll do it or not. And I might tell my mastermind group this, I don't know if they'll do it or not. But looking back, if I could start over, I never would have funded my Roth IRA. I never would have funded my traditional IRA because that's what we had when I first started traditional IRA. I never would have funded my 457 plan. I never would have funded my wife's 401k plan. I never would have done it. Right now with that 401k plan, we're paying, we live in a state with no state income tax, but when we make withdrawals, we're paying 20% tax on that. We could have used that money years ago, probably in a, we were in a lower tax bracket and we could have bought real estate and rental property. I didn't know then what I know now, okay? So that's the point of this channel. I'm trying to share stories so that you, especially if you're younger than me, change your mindset. Don't follow the sheep of the world. Look out, think outside of the box, all right? All right, good enough. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. If you want me to dig deeper into this subject, let me know. But Maskey is signing out.